a.m. the next day and I could not sleep. Since I'm up early, I decided why not go to Sakiji Fish Market this morning and try to get some sushi. Advisor says I should be prepared to wait at least two hours, but apparently it's a life changing meal, so I mean, we're gonna do it. I mean, we're in Japan, we should do it. <laughs> I just got off at Tsukiji Shijo stop, and immediately when I got off the train, it already smelled like fish, so that's a good sign. So the place is kind of hard to find, but I just found the longest line and I stood in it, so hopefully it's the right line <laughs> and hopefully it's worth it okay just kidding the guy walked around and he was like the wait's gonna be six hours and i'm not down <laughs> let's see if there's something else i can eat around here so i just walked down a little and there's a shorter line that seems a lot more feasible so i'm just gonna wait in this one but good thing i brought a snack Hopefully this one's not six hours. It's still pretty packed though. So this line's a lot more promising. It's about about 30 minutes, but we've made a lot of progress. Hi. I made some new friends. Introduce yourself. <laughs> I'm Catherine. I'm Shamik. 100 percent it's always gonna be easier to use than your SLR. Just in terms of like where you exit after you finish your meal. That was so good. <laughs> one of these lockers. So I'm gonna go with my birth year, 1993, just so I can remember it. <laughs> there are a lot of lockers here. Cool. Take the 
So you just pick a number and they hand you a yukata. So I picked number five. All right, let's go. shops and saw all the gachapon machines and now I am in Shinjuku just exploring a little bit before I head back to my hostel but I am way exhausted. I've been up since 5 a.m. and maybe it's all the walking but whew, let's see what's around here. So it's been a really long day. I've been up since 5, but I'm just going to grab dinner before I head back to my hostel. And I stopped at Coco Curry. I'm only here because Simon and Martina told me to come here. So I'm really excited. I got the regular pork curry with garlic bits and a pork cutlet. No, nothing too fancy. So I just got my food and it smells so good. garlic bits on the side. <laughs> the pork is so crispy. Let's try it with the fried garlic. It was way too much food. So, if you ever decide to go eat a Coco Curry, here is some advice. Do not opt for the base rice. So, the base rice that they give you is 300 grams, but 300 grams is a lot. Ugh. You can get less rice and pay less money, which I recommend because that was way too much rice and I could not finish it. I'm gonna head back to my hostel now and start editing my vlogs. Good night, guys.